Okay, I thought I'd do a quick video about the basics of using the SCT BDX wirelessly. So, um, you first get your device, first thing you gotta do is go to sctflash.com, create an account um, with your the email you'd like to use to get your um, data logs sent to. And then it's gonna also ask you to register a device um, and you'll get that off of your all your serial number and stuff off device info here. Um, so get registered and then come back to your device. Make sure you are connected to some form of Wi-Fi. So device settings, Wi-Fi, and it'll search. You can, I use the hotspot on my phone um, or you, if you have Wi-Fi access, um, in your garage that will work as well um, but just make sure you're connected to wi-fi um, one of those ways so once you're connected to wi-fi again device settings uh cloud file sync so you click on that and hit continue and it will download updates for the device um, uh, uh, tunes from the, your tuner um, uh, configuration files for your data log files, all that stuff. So sync that up and then you're good to go. And then you go to vehicle functions. Oh, there, program vehicle. So you're gonna program your vehicle, all the um, tunes that your uh, tuner has uploaded should be available. You pick the one you want and you get your car tune. Okay, so you got your tune loaded. Now you want to data log a, a run so you can send it to show your uh, tuner how the car is performing. So one of the things that your tuner will send you is a configuration file for your data log. Um, you have to make sure and select the proper one. So select data log file and you'll go through, um, you know, your list here and um, pick whichever one the tuner instructed you to use. Um, so you've got that loaded up, you got your car running, um, you're at uh, a safe place to do a wide open throttle run um, from like zero to whatever you can safely achieve. Um, so you're at a stop, you hit the middle button to record and it'll pop up in the middle, you know you're recording your data and then you just floor it and get up to as fast as you can go safely. And then when you're done, you just hit stop and then you go back and stop data log and then you go down to device settings and you do another cloud file sync and that will send the data log file to sctflash.com which will send it to that email that you registered with them and then you can go to your uh, email get the email and forward it back to your tuner and they will read it and if they make revisions on your tune they'll send you a revised tune um, and then you'll reprogram your vehicle um, or do another cloud file sync to get the new tune, retune your vehicle with that file, and do another data log, and just rinse and repeat until your tuner's happy with the way everything looks on your car. So hopefully that was a little simpler to follow. Um, if you have any questions, you can post comments and I'll try to get back to them.